All right, guys, here we are again with my 7.3 IDI uh, International Diesel. And this is the uh, V-belt driven motor, one of the early naturally aspirated V-belt driven motors. And if you have a V-belt driven IDI, you will understand the frustration of this uh, potential problem. So this belt here, it goes on the alternator, it goes down to the crank, you can get it, it seems as tight as you possibly can get it, and yet this portion here, the belt will, will have uh, almost like play, and it'll, uh, it'll basically flex, it'll, it'll flat like that. Now, a little bit of that's normal, but... Uh, in my opinion, just the design of it, it's excessive. And if I had that much play in any of my other uh, pulleys, I'd be, I'd be adjusting it, try to uh, put as much tension on it as possible to get that play out so I don't throw a belt. And in my opinion, I, I've driven this motor many, many miles as it was before. I don't have a before video, but in my opinion, it has the potential to throw an alternator belt. And if you throw an alternator belt, it could possibly shear other belts with it. It could take out, um, uh, it could po potentially take out trans cooler lines. I've seen that happen with serpentine belts. And uh, it has the potential to bend pulleys. So here, I basically made my own little upgrade. I built this bracket. I'll get a shot from the other side here. But I built this bracket mounting on the middle hole there of my alternator bracket that bolts to the water pump. And I kind of uh, messed with the, the length a little bit and I notched it on the end. So I had a uh, a little bit of an adjust adjustment potential to get it where I wanted it. And then I used lock washers and everything. I used uh, some thin washers that would go on the bearing itself so the, bearing, uh, the pulley could move freely. And the bushing that's inside of that pulley is a little larger than I like. Um, but... When it's all tight, this isn't this pulley isn't moving up and down. So I, I guess hopefully with some pressure on it, it's not going to travel uh, too much on me. But I did mark it with whiteout, the bracket itself, so I can see if this bracket moves up. And if it does, I'm either going to try to weld or bolt an adjustable stop on the uh, on the back of it here next to this bracket so it, it'll stop against it but I kind of would want to want it adjustable because this belt's going to stretch over time and it'll stretch all the way out to there I think that's just he had the wrong belt on it but the belt will easily s stretch out to there that's that was with my old belt before and this is after I put a new belt on it in fact you can see it's already traveled probably a quarter of an inch in a year maybe I don't remember exactly when I, the exact date when I bought the new belt. Anyway, so I'm going to start this sucker up, and I'm going to show you guys with it running. And if you have a V-belt driven system, you can kind of compare it to yours, and I think you'll see a noticeable difference. So, without further delay. Alright, here she is running. I'm going to rev it a couple times.
So there you guys go. Hopefully uh, this might give you some ideas to maybe play with yours. Um, again, I just went and got a pulley. Oh, that's right. I was going to give you guys the part number. Uh, it's just a standard Gates pulley, 38003, and uh, a 90 millimeter drive line, a line uh, V groove pulley. And from what I understand, the parts guy said this will um, uh, come from any Chrysler Dodge or Eagle V belt driven system from 1981 to, I want to say, 1997. I think that's the year range you gave me, but part number is always easier. So there you guys go. You guys can order it up and uh, and kind of play with it. And uh, if you guys want to try taking some of the slack out of this this belt, I I believe it is a noticeable difference. And again, as always, hopefully that might help some of you.